Hi, my name is Shelby. I work at the It's a Secret Med Spa in Dallas. I am one of the nurse injectors and we are going to be doing a little bit of lip filler on our beautiful model Lexi today. We're going to walk you through the steps of how we do it. So the first thing that we do is we go over our patient's medical history form. Miss Beautiful Lexi has no allergies, so we already started the process of numbing her lips, as you can see. Um, and here in a minute, we're gonna get started. So Lexi has had lip filler before, and her favorite lip filler product is Juvederm Velour, and that's what we're gonna be using on her today. So now that we have the velour ready to go, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna transfer the filler into different needles so that we give an even aesthetic across her lips. So the reason that we do this is so that way the lip filler is distributed evenly across her lips because Lexi has no asymmetries in her lips. So now that we're done filling our filler in the new syringes, what we're gonna do is take off all of her numbing cream and clean up her lips before we get started. So now that we adjusted the lighting, it's really important to get angles of her lips in every direction so that we can see her lips before and after in a more accurate way. Smile really big and relax. Good. All right, we're gonna get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start injecting in her upper lip. What I like to do is start from behind because that helps me get a better angle. And we're gonna start at the vermilion border of her upper lip and curl it up and out. This gives it height and allows her lip to curl in a really beautiful way. So now we're gonna change the position of the needle. I'm gonna put it in the body of the lip and I'm putting pressure right now where we just injected the top of the lip earlier. So now that we're done with this side, what I like to do is ice in between if I ever spot a little bruise. Doing this is going to help vasoconstrict the vessels which means they're gonna clamp down and it's gonna help keep that bruise from growing any bigger. Ice also helps with inflammation so doing this is also gonna help keep her lips from swelling throughout the injection treatment. So now that we're done with her upper right side, her entire upper lip is done. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure here. And Lexi has a mirror. I like to show my clients in between each side that we do. And now we're gonna get started on the bottom half. So now we're gonna get started on her bottom right lip. And we're gonna do a similar technique to what we did on the top by curling out her lip to give a little more of a pout. I'm having Lexi smile a little bit so that I can see her lips stretched out a little bit more. So now that we're done with all four quadrants of her lip, I leave a little bit left over just for asymmetries. So I noticed that her upper right lip needs a little bit more of a lift on this side. So then we're gonna go ahead and go from behind and curl that up. All right, so now that we're done with her lips, what I like to do is give my patients an ice pack to start icing. That helps reduce inflammation and helps bring any bruises down. And bruising is absolutely normal. Um, expect to bruise a little bit anytime you get poked with a needle, especially with lip filler injections. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of bacitracin, which is a moisture barrier for the lips. Applying this to her lips is going to help moisturize her lips, but it also gives a really pretty shiny finish for whenever we're done and we take her pictures. All right, so now we're gonna take her pictures. Okay, so now that we're done with Lexi's beautiful lips, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Dysport in Lexi's forehead, frown lines, brows, and crow's feet. What Dysport is, is a neuromodulator that we offer at It's a Secret to help smooth some of her fine lines and wrinkles. We also offer Botox for those who prefer that product as well, but Lexi likes Dysport, so we're gonna use that on her today. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning off her forehead with a little bit of alcohol to help cleanse the skin. So now that we're done cleaning her skin, we're gonna go ahead and mark the areas that we're going to inject. So I'm gonna have her make a couple of expressions. Raise your eyebrows really high, good. Frown really hard for me, great. So the muscles that we're gonna be treating on her today are gonna to be her frontalis muscle, which is the top of the forehead, and her glabella complex. Frown for me, really hard. And that's gonna be what people call the 11 lines. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on her frontalis muscle. I'm gonna have you raise your eyebrows really, really high and relax. Awesome, she did great. And now that we're done with the forehead, we're gonna go to the brows and the eyes. All right, so now that we're done with her forehead and her frown lines, we're gonna go to her brows. We're gonna put a little bit of Dysport on the tail of her brow to give a little bit of a lift.
Okay, so now that we're done doing her dysport and her lip filler, she is ready to go. It's normal to see a little bit of redness around the areas that we injected with the dysport. Um, her lips are gonna be a little bit swollen and a little bit bruised probably over the next 48 hours. I always tell my clients to make sure to ice their lips every hour over the next couple of days and she's good to go.